What is good, Horror Horde? This is your boy, Horror Gamer, back with another video for you. And as you can tell by the title of this video, this is the very first video of my new weekly series called Found Footage Friday. So, Found Footage Friday, what is it? What is Found Footage Friday? Well, I was sitting down and I was like, what can I do? Like, thinking of ideas for, like, new series and stuff. And I'm like, well... I love reviewing movies, and there's so many subgenres. I really love found footage, and I was like, well, why don't I take once a week, on Friday, just grab one of my found footage movies off of my collection shelf and just talk about it. Do a little review on it, tell you what it's about, give you a little bit of backstory behind it, and, and you know what I mean? Just, just, you know, give some love to the found footage genre, because... We don't give much love to that, you know what I'm saying? It's one of those one of those genres that you either really love it or you really hate it. So, and I, I tend to go along the really love it side. So, with all that out of the way, just know, though, that your Found Footage Fridays have, that's right, spoilers in them all day, every day. So, if you haven't seen the movies that I show you on Found Footage Friday, I definitely recommend you check them out because they're pretty awesome. So, all right. Without, with that out of the way, the very first episode of Found Footage Friday, I'm actually going to do a movie that I've reviewed in the past, and I just purchased the third one of the trilogy, and it's just, it's just one of my more favorite found footage movies out there, and that's the fear footage. So basically, what the fear footage is, it's supposed to be this found footage kind of like anthology movie and it, it it's all found footage it it gives you the the perspective from a cop's uh, body cam that goes into a house that just miraculously comes back in the middle of the night and he goes into the house and he gets kind of trapped in there and he finds this vcr and on the vcr there's a tape and it's the fear footage then he pushes it in and he watches each of these uh, each of these stories that are on the fear footage. I mean, one of them has clouds. One of them comes across these storm chasers that come across this, like, um, this cult of Satanists. One's about this guy who hears something in the woods at night. And he, you know, goes into the woods. He finds this, like, abandoned church or whatever that's supposedly burnt down. You know... All kinds of just weird stuff. But the best part about this movie is this is low-budget magic at its best, okay? So, fun fact for you. This movie right here was completely shot and edited on a cell phone. Yeah, that I said, I said that correctly. It was completely shot and edited on a cell phone. The guy who made this movie filmed the cell phone you know as the cop cam and it was so low budget it was it was a 300 dollars budget he had to make this movie he basically made it with his relatives and friends and and all that and it was very well made and the best part is like the house that he's trapped in it was his grandma's house it was the it was the guy who made this movie it was his grandmother's house and he made this movie while she was home and it was, it was such, it was so well done. Like, it was scary. This guy, this guy knows how to scare people. It's, it's such, it was so well done. The jump scares are on point. He doesn't try too hard to jump scare you. It just comes naturally. Okay. And with a $300 budget, he made a scary fucking movie. I'm going to tell you that right now. It was a well done movie. And. You can look him up. Um, he, uh, if you look up, uh, I forget what it is on YouTube, but he he played this at the film festival, and then they asked him questions, and that's where he went and said along the lines of, "It was a three hundred dollar budget. It was, you know, he filmed it at his grandmother's house. His wife played in it. You know, what I'm saying all this stuff. Like you, you, you just sit there at all, and you're like, wow, this is what filmmaking is. This is." This is guerrilla style filmmaking, and this is why I love low budget horror for movies like this. Because 
It's somebody putting their everything into a project, you know, and giving you their vision. And that's what I love about low budget. And this, man, this guy's vision is amazing. I would love to see what this guy can do with a big budget. Like, I really would love to see Hollywood get a hold of this guy and be like, here's a budget Give us something, you know what I mean? Because I think with a big budget, I think he could do something really, really good. Really scary. Because what he did with a $300 budget, I mean, was phenomenal. I mean, look, this is how low budget, like, this is how low budget this is. This is literally the disc. It's a plain white disc. It's a Blu-ray disc. It's a plain white disc with bloody, bloody fingerprints on it. No title screen, nothing. That's it. That's his budget. And it comes with... It came with... Look. Looks like this is printed off on a printer. It comes with... A missing poster sign. Of the supposed cop that's in the footage. Leo Cole. Which this, this name comes throughout the whole series. But I mean look at this. This is amazing. This is... This right here is amazing marketing. Even though it looks cheap and it looks, look at this, bloody note, you know. It looks cheap, it looks, you know, eh. But what I see here is I see somebody who wants to push their product and who went way beyond to make his dream come true. And he did a hell of a job. So, kudos to you, my friend, on bringing out an amazing product and actually bringing out a movie that was scary. It was really good. So, I definitely recommend you check it out. You can go on the website. I'll leave the link in the comment. I'm in the. I'll leave a link in the description below to the actual fear footage site, and you can go on there and you can get some fear footage, uh, fear footage merchandise. Uh, you can get the Blu-rays, you know, all that stuff. And they, these even came in, like, evidence bags. Like, it was such, so, oh, so good. So, yeah. Definitely check it out. Definitely, definitely check it out. I definitely recommend the fair footage. And I really hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of Found Footage Friday. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Like I said, I have a lot of found footage to go through. Um, but it's going to be a fun time. I love found footage, and I hope I can get you guys to love it if you don't already. So, all right, Horror Horde. With all that being said, I love you guys. Thank you guys. And until next time, this is your boy Horror Gamer saying, don't forget, hit that subscribe button along with that dingly ding ding button. Now, every time your boy Horror Gamer throws up one of these uh, found footage Fridays, you're in the know. So, now with all that being said, Horror Horde, I love you guys. Thank you guys. And until next time, this is your boy Horror Gamer saying, as always, don't fear the darkness. Embrace it.